massive changes with his lineup due to a barrage of injuries. He had a mash unit much of this season. As you take a look at our Jeep Grand Cherokee starting lineups, Harris Tate, Bolden, Enzi, and Golden. And then you see Scruggs along with Jones, Kunkel, Carter, and Zach Fremantle, the starting five for Xavier. These, these two really don't like each other. It could get chippy as the game goes on. When they play, uh, it's it's almost as if our style, the Butler way versus the Xavier way, it comes up. It comes up a lot. These two teams from the heartland of America and believe in their cultures, and it's uh, that's really what it is, a culture battle. And the opening tip is controlled to the Musketeers. Outstanding officiating crew that we have on hand for this one. Tony Chiazza and Potter and Brent Hampton. And Timmy B right now. And this kid can shoot it. Oh, 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 kick oh, oh, oh. Right away, the junior out of Kentucky by way of Belmont University. They don't recruit a Rick Bird, the old coach there, recently retired. You don't play at Belmont without a, without a really quality stroke. Absolutely. Three shoots a day. Very patient, get good looks. And Harris, he thought that one was deflected. May have been, but they saved it. Shot clock is down to seven. Enzi makes a strong move inside and gets it to go. Now this kid gets so much out of his size and ability. He really sound, does a lot of things, corrals, foot court, pushes, just understands the game. Freeman, really a tough match, inside now. Loves his attitude on the floor. The guys talked about the loss of Jackson for Xavier, which means Kunkel's got to make shots. Travis Steele is having to make adjustments as well as so many of these teams have. He took over for Chris Mack when he vacated to go about uh, an hour and a half down the road to Louisville. Originally a team manager at Butler. <laughs> How about that? Yep. He was uh, a manager for the Butler Bulldogs at one point. I think for Thad, right? Yeah, for mistaken. Thad Mata, sure was. And uh, Laval Jordan, of course, knows all about Butler. It's his alma mater. And, of course, uh, spent time with Beeline, John Beeline at Michigan before taking over when Chris Holtman made his way to Ohio State. I think he learned a few things, <laughs> John. Have you heard John do some games? Yeah, yeah I've heard him do games. I've him in the studio. Right. On the Big Ten. That he worked. really is extraordinary. I, I don't know if I've ever been in a practice bill that was more well run than a John Beeline practice. And he had you keep quiet for two hours. That's really hard to do, right? <laughs> Three back to a little strong with that baseline maneuver. Like this kid. Up against the clock. It goes crying off the front rim out of bounds. And they're going to say it will stay down here with Xavier. And those are the little things that are contributed. Really good sound play. We mentioned the ability to shoot from deep. And we're tough, tough kid, Kunkel. Put that one right in Miles Tate. He was the last to touch it. Obi Jones gets to, to Fremantle. He's tough down there. He's also a good passer out of that little box. Scrubs rattles at home. There's the guy. You know, with this team, he kind of knew, Bill, he was the man. At, at the end of games, he's the guy that can make the play. Look he gets to the rim and passes to the outside, too. Nice entry. Yeah. Right inside. And Golden is fouled. And the series recap between these two, you see 68-55 for Xavier. And, of course, having to play a third time usually is an advantage for the team that's dropped both games. Mm -hmm. But this is such an undermanned Butler team. Still a difficult take, don't you think? Well, actually it is. It's sort of a mental thing. But uh, if you're really good and can, <laughs> can perform, it's certainly doable. But uh, psychologically, the advantage is to the guy that lost two or those that lost two. Price out of Winchester, Virginia. There's St. Giant James School in Maryland. Rocks them both down, and it's 5-4. to four. There's this Butler team as we go. Ooh, steps, yeah. Yep. Too much traffic there. 
And without Thompson, it's a different team. And, and we're going to be looking at Tate and Harris for the next couple of years. Two outstanding guards for Butler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got them playing really solid basketball. Don't mind the bright lights and the big shots. Really rough what happened to Thompson. Mm -hmm. Out for the season after that shoulder injury suffered against Marquette. On February 17th. Nice work by Golden again. Just running right to the 10 to put it in. Boy, Harris with a beautiful dribble drive. Uncle using that pick. Good jump stop and a deuce inside. Kobe Jones. He had a three pointer to win the game against Providence back in January. He is cold blooded late in game. He doesn't mind big shots. He used to have fresh as we noted earlier. Harris. Feeding it inside baseline. Good move by Enzi. Better D. Carter. Look at him stay with it. He's not afraid at the Tim with the base. No, he is tenacious. One more time on the wing. Beautiful work that time. And Izzy on the mark to open this game. Well, they can really open things up, too. A lot of traffic at the rim with the size of Xavier. Kunkel. Just everything. And Kobe Jones with a nice screen that got him to look, too. Well, Butler, a team uh, five games under 500, but hoping to extend their season in the second season with three of their top six in terms of bench playing out. Well, they get some people at home, though, don't they? They really do. One fall from deep for Chuck Harris. By the way, I was joking with, about Jay Wright and to Jay Wright the other day. He knows he's going to be in the NCAAs, but you know he doesn't want to go to Hinkle. Exactly. Jay, uh, nice driving kick. How about that? Oh, Jay answers your phone call. <laughs> oh, you're big. Jason Carter into the scoring column. The Ohio University transfer. Butler, even with their woes, won again against Villanova at home. They've won five of the last six against Villanova in Eagle. Oh, uh, Fremantle's going to get an O, by the way. Needless blocking foul as we go to break. Well, he gets so frustrated, doesn't he? Musketeers and Bulldogs. The heartland of the Big East underway. Nice action. Out of bounds plays are exquisite. Uh, this is a very, very important game for them, too. And if they get by this, they can move forward another one. Obviously, they're going to be in, but they're going to be dangerous come NCAA tournament time, I so, think. Yeah, something people have to remember, too, and I know Mike DeCourcy, who handles our bracketology, knows this as well. Without the Ivy League figuring in, there is an additional at-large bid for the NCAA Tournament Selection mm -hmm. Committee, which I think aids teams like Xavier. Out yeah. of conferences like this that are so highly competitive. No, I agree with you. A tough entry pass there, and forcing to get a kick ball. Well, the Ivy League's decision to opt out gives them an opportunity to have one more team. It'll be interesting to see if they go with uh, you know, one of the lesser leagues or another power league team that's on the bubble. And the air ball means we have a shot clock violation. Five minutes gone by. Scrubs. He's so good. Look at this spin. Looking to give it up and then got it back as it slapped out. Beautiful defensive work by Miles Tate. So active defensively, always in the right spot. Everybody buys in defensively. They got a little Wolfing going on. Yeah. I'm telling you, this is a rivalry game. Yeah, it's like you and I before the game. <laughs> <laughs> if you could hope, you only knew at home how those production meetings go. In those precious minutes. <laughs> Carter, who could shoot the lights out at Ohio, you had a big game against Xavier. One of the reasons why they picked him up. In traffic, and 
Wonderful job done again by Colby Jones. Really patient, great body control. Oh, another guy on the floor, he can really get to the rim as well, Timmy. At the little pull-up jumper, threes maybe a little bit questionable. Okay. Look at this. <laughs> the other way of God. Now oh, inside, let's take a look at the Musketeers resume and why they're in the position that they are in. The net ranking is okay, mm -hmm. but I think the issue for them is not enough five-word games, which, by the way, you can't control. But that a win, a black suitor's win is big, very big for them. And against a great coach team, Ron Kruger. Yep. Uh, they put them away early and soundly. Baseline. Hey. Traffic powering it up that time was Bo Hodges. He had some camp problems, too. Good to see him. I mean, they have been a mash unit. Hey, 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 He's told it. Juan Odom is strong. Alpharetta, Georgia, by way of St. Francis High. Just a freshman. Outstanding future ahead for him. Well, he is an aggressive pursuer of the rim. Now, you remember Kamar Baldwin was from Georgia. Sure. Have a little bit of an opening there. Yeah, Ready by Enzi. Yeah, and Enzi gets it done with the left hand. Defense is nice. Positions his guy. Freeze, deliver. 14 to 11. Speaking of buzzer beaters, Kamar Baldwin had a few for us, didn't he? He sure did. He was playing. And right now, a little switch. Middle, 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 middle. It's his own. A little 2-3. Oh, nicely done. Did you say question three? <laughs> uh, really to knock him down from deep. How about that? Come on, Jace. Post up, Jason. Nice cross. Yeah. What a pull up. Everything but. Well, he'll put you on your heels, won't he? A dribble drive by Tate. Uh, recognizing that zone. Wiltshire. Uh, talked about this kid can shoot. No yeah. question about it. CJ. At 32 minutes against Marquette. These New Jersey kids can smell a bucket from deep. Roselle Catholic. Yep. A stop and go by Jones. Hardy does a lot of nice little things for this team. Very active steps. Yep, funny half that yeah. time. He was setting himself up to make one off the bounce. Well, these guards are strong looking, aren't they? 6-3, six, 6-4. Six, I don't think there's any question now that Travis Steele was ready to move up a chair in the coaching profession. He, he has really, I think, fashioned himself in much the same way that every other guy at Xavier has, known as a cradle for coaches in college basketball, going all the way back to Pete Gillen, really. Well, he's paid his price, no question about it. Maybe even Bob Stack. Yeah. Well, then he's going back to my era. Yeah. And uh, obviously, Skip Prosser had such a great run before going to Wake Forest. Such a great impact, too, for the gentleman. The late great Skip Prosser. Turn and face. Colby Jones, cold-blooded, big time from downtown. Musketeers by nine. Meets you in all areas. Look at that Xavier bench too, Bill. They're making some noise. We've got 800 to 1,000 people on hand for games here. Tickets allocated to friends, family, and mostly within the program. But those young men are stoked to be in this building. Tough shot. Nice looking spin to come up empty. Carter, no help coming. He knows it. Well, that's a simple shot for him. Yeah, he had a mismatch. Yeah, normally he converts. Playing small. And the Butler Rockets a little undersized. Look at Jones blocked out. Let me get that rebound. And even Carter, too. A little tip from him. And Jair Bolden has missed his last two triggers. They're going to need him to make some shots tonight. But they are a threat on the catch. 
Nice find here. Yeah. Yeah. Odom, wide open. You know, they have too wide open. His knee can't collapse into the launch. Did you notice and that? There's the putback, and you see Wiltshire getting it done. His left knee almost blew out on him when launching that three. I've seen you do that about 11.30 on occasion, but uh, not on a bit. He's an outstanding young talent. And a, a young man that they expect big things from. He was the second leading scorer in St. Francis High School history. As we mentioned, Alpharetta, Georgia. A lot of talent in that state. And uh, I think the recruitment of Lamar Baldwin opened up the avenue for Butler to go get a few of those guys in the future. And he's going to pull up David on the floor as well to make a shot. Another one of those kids that's been injured. Knee problem as well. Great bandage up on here. Tough matchup for him, I think, off the dribble. Harris, well, sure. Harris not able to get shots to fall, and then you see again a marvelous explosion to the basket by Odom. When he presents his shoulders to the backboard, it is strong and definitive. And Harris is coming off a career game. Griffin on the floor now. Occasionally you would see him on. Oh, got to catch it. Yeah. That one went right through the hands of Christian David. Look at the way he attacks here. The defense is tardy, but boy, he is aggressive. There's a Griffin on the floor. What's wrong with play the two bigs together? And three men with the one foul, just saving him, though. Xavier's really in rhythm, Bill. Oh, they, they have some talent, and they are deep. Try to split. Look at his pass. An assist, David, with a bowling ball assist. How do you score that one at home, right? Exactly. They'll take it any way they can get it. Bryce Golden. 27 to 13, and much needed hoop to stop the bleeding for Butler. Now this is the end of the four they excel. Nice little help, switch, pretty play. Yeah, good work defensively that time by Hodges. Good ball fake there. But Harris just coming up a little short. He's making all the moves, just not converting. First trip into the Big East tournament for him. Look here. Has that one run a lot? And he got back a little bit late. Didn't cover. Very fortunate, Butler. He'll replace here on the wing. Those are open looks. They have to go, really, for Butler if they're going to hang in. Well, they run some great stuff, some action to get open looks. They got really young, and then they got really banged up, and this was the wrong year to have both of those things happen to you. Step back, huh? Oh, boy. Scruggs, Scruggs is dynamite. Whew. you got to respect his ability to turn the corner. Nice year he's had. Harris and Hodges have combined 0 for 10 from the floor for Butler. They're going to have to warm up and warm up quickly. And Golden can't get a look. Golden steps out. He can bite you once in a while. They just need more stuff going to the rim. Xavier sending a message to anyone thinking that they are not of NCAA tournament caliber here in the opening moments of this game. You know, this kid here can do it all. I think he's going to be out of They call the charge. And a little bit out of control. Player control foul. Nice job there that time by Hodges to collect it. The drama for Xavier is you got to win if you want to get in. And the butler is trying to keep them from doing it again. Get one win absolutely right now they're sharing the basketball and that that's a major reason why they've climbed to this big lead 16 to 2 run over the last six and change yeah they're deep and talented unselfish a couple of stumbles here and there coming down the stretch but they're really struggling Enzi three for three the rest of the team two 
16. Only five field goals for the Bulldogs. Really good defense, a little bump, shuffle cut. Look for the lob, and he still played NZ well. Tough shot, and it's an air ball, too, by Tate. We see the assist to field goals. That's what you want. That's exactly the way Travis Steele would draw it up. Uh, Fremantle really is so active on the offensive end. A lot stems from him. He dribble handoffs, his ball screen slips, pick and pop. Very unselfish, too. This kid's going to have a big upside. Oh, but the iron is so kind. Sometimes the cylinder just knows you're that good. <laughs> he is a talent going to the team. Now there's a three that needed to go for Enzi. So he's showing you his inside, now his outside. He just needs his friends to begin to help. And he needs some stops as well. With 2 3 zone, you might give him offensive rebound, but they've been able to drive it on occasion too. Xavier, that is. Will Jones. A good defensive help that time. Here comes Tate. If he can get it going, Butler will hang around. This is the definition, Governor, of the iron kind right here. <laughs> oh, it's dead. Oh, the heaviness. Charles Wilmot, who actually was the extra passer in that sequence there. Yet another freshman of influence for this team on the Chestnut Ridge, New York. One, 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 three here. Really morphs to a two, three as well. Takes away that dribble drive. I'm sure they're concerned about getting to the rim. He loves that spin ball, does he? Uh, for a little drop step. Uh, a free mental delivery. Memories at Bergen Catholic. Mm -hmm. For that young man, the lead is 34 to 19. Was that all line by Hubie Brown? There's two kinds of basketball. There's basketball, and then there's jersey basketball. Kinsey, the first man here, boy. Well, really stick to him. He punished him by getting him on the rim. That's how he was able to get that offensive rebound. But free mental ball screen slip. Really understands the game. Drop step. Well, he has a variety of approaches to deliver the punch and the little counter. The quarter forced a little bit deep. And NZ, an undersized player, he gets so much out of his ability. Set out the 18-19 season after transferring from Wisconsin, Milwaukee. He came over with Laval Jordan. A real difference maker. Buckle, free mantle again. That's that offensive position on zone. Just step up and address the Kunkel bounce. Pay dearly. Well, that's how you get six double doubles in your last seven games right there. Get over. He's making plays with the ball, and he's crashing the glass on the offensive glass. Fremantle. Fremantle really does a lot of stuff on that uh, defense, too. Show him. They base for it here. Yeah, good pass. Bolden with the dish. Golden with the slam. Do you want it? I'll take it. Okay, I'll take it. There was indecision in that sequence. Let's do an air ball. Well, how about this early quick one? It's not typical. No, it's not. The Butler approach. Jair was obviously thinking, I'm hot now. But that's uh, certainly not the Butler way, as uh, Laval would suggest. Gold in the rebound. Switch it to a little bit of a 3 2 look that way. Disguising their defenses nicely. You go by, you go by. Watch how much Freeman helps out. 
That's why you got to make him pay for being overzealous on his defensive end. Strings people out, recovers. Tate. Nice tap out by Golden. Tate again. Three metal clears. Golden says, let's take a breath. <laughs> That's right on something here. Boy, that's just knowing where your teammate is, isn't it? It sure is. Great deal. Well, that's a nice look. Oh, wow. He, he dumped that down in traffic about to pass entry to Wilcher. How about the catch, too? Wow, uh, you know, a lot of us. Some teams you might say that's a tough pass to make. It's a turnover. Yeah. But uh, he knew where his teammate was. Logan's dragging Fremantle away. They might get something going to the rim. Or settle for a long jump. Fremantle has numbers. Three on two. Oh, oh, no. No. Flex your muscles, young man. Everything coming up well for the Musketeers. I'd rather he compliment the guy who made the pass than Flex. Save it for the beach. <laughs> I know you visit the beach often these days. <laughs> With these legs? Yeah. <laughs> I've got more than an umbrella over me. I bet. A little dribble handoff to Tate. And a reach in foul, Coco, I think. Or maybe Wiltshire. Yeah, Wiltshire on that side, I think you're right. Yep. Time out. Musketeers inside, outside, all around the town. Free Mantle is playing with tremendous freedom. I'd say Xavier is flexing their muscles so far. 40. Colby Jones is home. Really touted immediately when he got to this program as a potential starter. He has lived up to the advanced billing. He said, you know, you talk to Travis about him and he'll say, he's like our Swiss Army knife. He can play the one, the two, and the three. He's been that tonight. I haven't been in the Boy Scouts, but I know what you mean. <laughs> but he is a total package that kid. Big game against St. John's earlier, 20 points. Indeed, beautiful ball fake. And a great pass to go with it. That's nicely done. He got it right into Hodges' hands. And Timmy, you know what I like as well for Xavier? Fremantle was caught in a bad spot. Didn't reach in and found it a second one. Made a hole for one, it looks like. I mean, it's, it's a 14-point spread, Bill, but, you know, it could be worse as well as Xavier has played. It'll be one four, a little run out. Got to stay at home on the, sh the corner shooters. Let's see if they do it on Jones' side. Yep. What they give? Yeah, you know, uh, understandable, I think, in a lot of ways to do that. That's a first foul on Hodges. They've still got a couple to give. So they may keep fouling. Sure, here. why not? Switch it, switch it. Yeah, you've got this thing at 14, and without Enzi, it could be 25. I was going to say, well, you better put some subs in if that's what you're going to do, though. Yeah, yeah. Well, you can't afford to have Tate or Harris. That's on Tate, I think. I just got um, the earlier foul. That was his first. Tate getting his first. So the right guys did foul. Neither had one, but yeah, you're right. The end of the first half, and all things considered, uh, it could be worse. Travis Skills' team played an excellent first half, 10 and 0 when leading at the half this year. Well, that's the best win percentage in that category in the Big East, along with Villanova. 14 point game. We'll send you to Rob. He's been outstanding, confident with talent. you got the question a lot this year. Bill, how strange has it been 
And uh, as surreal as some of the settings have been this year in college basketball, because we're here, this is the strength of Madison Square Garden. Yeah, there are only 800 to 1,000 or so people here, but because it's this building, you can see the players get some energy from that. They really do. Loose ball out of bounds. It'll stay on this end of the floor. And I know this from the all the coaches. I, I a number. Uh, coming off the elevator, they yeah. can feel it with their players. Yeah. You know, yeah. just uh, this is the place you want to perform. Let me at him. Jair trying to get going here in the second half. Golden kept that one alive. A fresh clock. And the ball is out of bounds to Butler. In case you're just joining us, just past 7 o'clock Eastern time, winner of this game will advance to take on Creighton tomorrow night in the quarterfinals. The Gus bus will be here. Gus Jensen. Gustavo in the yard. Yeah, red alert. Yeah, he didn't make it here a year ago. Called in the first quarter final game, you might recall. Here's the work that inside beautifully by Bryce Golden. He is so patient in that lane, really knows how to play. Jimmy Jackson will join me tomorrow afternoon for the first two quarterfinals. God bless Jimmy. Yeah, it's his turn. Time for him to be in the barrel. <laughs> Rub it up, dub. Connor can't get it to go. Nice game. Yeah, here's the entrance. That's good defense right there. The deflection well done by Kunkel to create the turnover. That kid really knows how to play. And just the ability to get across the lane. Easy entry pass. So Carter really got caught deep. He can bury the guy. And just a head up, heads up play. Not just a great shooter. He knows how to play the game, Kunkel. Go, 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 Would that go for Harris? He's just been shooting a tough luck tonight. Kid's an outstanding player. Without him this year, Butler would have been in dire straits. They really needed him, especially with all the injuries. Yeah, you know, we're really doing a nice job. Turn around. How about that? Yeah, fair play. Harder. Getting the job done, and the lead remains at 14. Hey! Got to stay in touch. Use the clock as something good arrives early. So they're, they're digging into the clock, forcing Xavier to play a lot of defense. And they don't turn it over. That's key. That's a tough shot on the grass. It is. He'll be right there. Here, Bolden, unable to really get on track offensively. Did hit one three in the first half. Puckle, dirty pass. Fremantle knows he should have yeah. He tried, he did it one hand. You got to trap that basketball. Had a little heat on it. Maybe a little overspin. Yeah. Say this for Fremantle, even though it would appear to be a tough pass to mere mortals, he really felt he should have reeled that one in. It's one he expects to get. Is the beautiful pass out. But again, unable to drain the train, Miles Tate. But they really work on the defensive end. Look at this collaboration. Yeah. Almost pulls a lot. Ooh. Enzi gets the foul, I think. But Enzi just bails out the guards. Really knows how to look at the front. Really in a good spot there. And Harris and Enzi comes off Carter to assist. Unfortunately, gets Nick there. Hey, two shots. I know you were watching him in warm-ups. He just loves playing the game, this kid. A little bounce nice. to his step. First one at practice, the last one to leave. He, he, emot he emotes out there, too. You know, he really wears his feelings and expressions. Are good looks, Bill. Yeah. It's not falling. Yeah, that was a little early and not as good. Lindsay once again really reacts. Well, he would not give up the baseline. Carter's really out of it. He really made him work. Great defense. Yeah. All right, Tim. Okay, okay. 
searching constantly. Harris. He really needs one to go. And he finally does. Look at his hands. He finally does. His testament of sound. Just keep on playing. Keep on trucking. Zaga College High School. Washington, D.C. Chuck Harris. High school, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Scrubs, a little post up off the free level. Tough pass. Tate in the passing lane. Picks it off. Always looking for that entry. We can sure you're available. A little small change. Kunkel, maybe. Yep, yep. Kunkel gets the personal foul. Yeah, Carter with the closeout. Yeah, this one brought a little bit of a smile. You can barely see the tin, right? <laughs> and he's begging for the he's begging for the N1 mm -hmm. to go with it. You can bet he's gonna be more aggressive after making that three. This is a good offensive play. Just not as nice. No. Look at the defense with the challenge. Tougher shots with a hand up there. Yeah, he's probably really pumped. He's a Brooklyn kid. Carter, dribble drive over to Freeman. So much he can do. 45 to 31. Kid's going to play a long time. Just doesn't waste a lot of energy. Gets the most out of it. Enzi with the dump down to Golden. That was a move. Use the body of the defender to control, anticipate, and roll on. That was one of those great attitude teams, aren't they? Over the years, amazing. Yeah. Just hanging in, believing themselves. Look, give him a drive. Shoot the light. Jackie. Coming off that career high 29, Wednesday at Creighton. Trying to pick up the pace here in the second half. The lead is down to 10. It's not because Xavier's playing poorly. Butler's just earning it. Mm -hmm. I mean, Kunkel comes right back with a tray. And the find by Jones, too. Kept his dribble alive. Head up. Don't go away, folks. This one's got possibilities here in the second half. Butler's getting in the flow, and Xavier showing signs. Of Look at this. Great pass inside. Golden playing that way. And how about the use of the rim, too? Heady play. What a lob. It's beginning to look like tournament time with the way these offenses are flowing. Carter couldn't reel it in. Out of bounds, last touch to Bob Butler. Pace is picking up, coach. Some pretty, pretty good, good plays, huh? You guys making shot. The ability to get to the rim, that offhand protection. This solid play, and why not? Let them know you're in the ball game. Kunkel, big time Shrey, and why not? A little applause for his guys. The steel man in the city. Classic examples of managers that have gone into coaching, and also classic walk-ons that have gone into coaching. Uh, Josh Pelzer is a great example, who was uh, a classic walk-on for Lou Olson in Arizona. Done a great job this year for sure at Georgia Tech. Yeah, the AC player of the year, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. And a foul inside. As Enzi, who just is uh, a guy you can count on, Bill, and you can see why Laval wanted to bring him from Wisconsin, Milwaukee. And he's been with him ever since. I mean, Griffin really out of position there. Not a great denial. Freeman is pretty good at that. A little post entry, but yeah, no question about it. He knows how to play, Enzi. He's like coming out with the handoff now. Well, they really go side to side, move people around. They do defend the whole time. Under 10. Well, oh. Another young man that's got an outstanding future. Miles Wilmer. 25% from deep. 
remember all the firepower in recent years that Butler has had. They just have not had that this year. And without Aaron Thompson, only made it more difficult. Here's Odom, who had a great first 10 minutes of this game. Picks up right where he left off without fadeaway game. Well, he went from a 4-foot jumper to a 12-foot jumper, and no problem. Fading away. Had not been in single digits since it was 20 to 11, but now it's been stretched to 13 until Izzy gets it back to 10. That's how comfortable defensively Griffin was that far from the hoop. this into with their excellent defense. Tough shot. Yeah, it is. All because of the D. That's the first bad shot we've seen Wiltshire take. I think he was stuck though to me yeah. late. Here's Griffin trying to check in Z. He feeds it back outside. We won't go and it's pulled down by Kobe Jones. What I like about Kobe Jones, he can rebound, bring it up, and make a play too if he has to. Little post up here. Odom was looking for Griffin. Found Wiltshire instead. Once again, great. Look at this cover. Jones. Oh! The iron tantalizingly on time. I love the D on that trip. I'm telling you. Nothing easy against Butler. Still a great look. It just rimmed out. Gritty. And it's down to eight. These kids are gritty. As close as they've been since it was 20 to 11. How do you make the opponent start thinking about a shot? Is it a good one? Can I make this? Sometimes you pull the string a little bit. And you wonder about the psychology, too, though. Xavier's struggling down the stretch. There's that knee out. Yeah. Second time that's happened. Wow. Stop the music. Yeah, it was. The ball was tipped away by Jones. That's an offensive foul. Yeah, that's a first off, huh? Well, Lavelle's got his guys playing good basketball, though, doesn't he? Do? He really does. How about you know this? Like the that. ability to get in the lane, you know take the like hit. That. Look at the strength on that fadeaway. You could have some wheels to me, B. <laughs> Stay in the air that long, but Enzi, whether it's in the low post area, you don't close out. No fingertips on fingertips. Nylon, got a big fella. We may see that again tomorrow in the afternoon, Bill, when. St. John's plays Seton Hall. Mm -hmm. You know, you got two teams. You figure St. John's is thinking, well, we got to win the tournament. I mean, we got to win the whole thing. Seton Hall, on the other hand, may be saying to themselves, well, we only need maybe one or, you know, or two. And Seton Hall is a very good team, as we know St. John's is. St. John's is that favorite play. Oh, yeah, the rejection. We have a great react. A little curl off the double horn set. And as you noted, defense was alert. Hodges. High in the air to high point that one and reject it. MZ, he walked. Well, no, may have got a reach. Oh, foul. Wow. I thought he may have walked. Wow, that was it just a terrific reaction at the end of this play. And Salah just did a nice job covering. He was beaten. Uh, the people guarding the foul line defenders, particularly the screener side, you got to give ground and help out. That that was a beautiful design at the timeout. We got an inadvertent whistle, Bill, which really bails out what I thought might have been a walk. Mm -hmm. Now the explanation is going over to Travis Steele. I think it was a, like a slap and a fumble, maybe. Yeah. Uh huh. And uh, the whistle is what made that near turnover look like a turnover. So a nice shot of officiating there. After the conversation, Britt Hampton said, nope, it was an inadvertent whistle blow. And this is where you got to be patient if you're on the defensive end. A tough entry, you got to bring it all the way over. Yeah. Foul line below. NZ normally so solid. One of the most personable coaches you'll ever meet, Laval Jordan. Mm -hmm. Just a Great. really, really good guy. Great person.
with a little more time with the meetings up in Michigan, obviously. The assistants have a little time to chat. One <laughs> four, look at the back door. That's his favorite. That one is. Didn't get any hurt. Oh, oh, no, look out. Came down gingerly on that right ankle. Slow to get up. Oh, wow, and a golden opportunity lost on the turnover there. That was five on four. Yeah, hate to see that. Yeah, let's hope he's going to be okay. Like it was his right ankle as he came down awkwardly on it. David Fluker's been a long-time trainer there. He used to actually work at Five Star many, many years ago. Just a fluky play at the right end. Right there, the right ankle. Yeah. Oh. Came down awkwardly on it. Five Star, home of the one and only Bill Raftery Broadcasting Camp. Oh, my goodness. That brings back memories. Did you catch that check? I was Professor Brando for a few days. I remember that. You and Garf. Howard Garfinkel's famous camp. The old Howard Garfinkel Camp Five Star. And Raft actually was... Uh, the professor, and he had a few guys come in on the cheap, like me. Bob Wolf, uh, man. That's right. Oh, sure did. Toby hey. Jones can't get it to go, and it's pulled out of there by Scrubs. <laughs> Jerry Eisenberg was our journalist. <laughs> How about that? For you pulling him out. Two Hall of Famers in front of the drive, get in the lane. Hold him. 52-42, the lead is 10. Fremantle coming back to the bench gingerly, I might add. A little pick and roll action for Golden. Tate missed him over to Enzi. That's a good one. Always good to turn to number 10. Well, three of them stand out to me. He's relocating that corner. Biggs don't want to cover that far out. The lead is down to seven. That ended a, that bucket just a moment ago ended a four and a half minute drop. The turnovers the last few trips hurt Burtler, but they're still making a comeback. Enzi and Golden Bill are combined 12 of 15 for 30 points. You might call that efficient. The rest of the team, five of 31 for 12. If Butler can start getting help from others besides those two, look out. Fremantle. Comes down awkwardly. That doesn't they're look good. Need, they're going to need Fremantle, I suspect, before this game is done, if it gets any closer. Yeah, I thought he was ready to go. Hopefully he will be. He gave the thumbs up during the break and then was sort of waved off by Travis and the staff. And they started out with a little zone trap, went back to man-to-man. -to -man. He an open look, huh? Uh, so, Captain and kid. Chuck Harris. You mentioned Gonzaga. Great prep school academically. You see a lot of guys that were south from Gonzaga. They were A students. Uh, <laughs> <in fact, the laughs> Scrubs. Low duck under. I'm the you. I think he yeah. packed his bags that time. You mentioned Harris. He also was on the same AAU team as Aaron Thompson and Bryce Golden. So there's a the connection there. A real strong connection between them. This is a good offensive player. Steps. Now they're going to foul. They do. That's Jair Bolden. We'll get to the free throw line. And here he comes. And he's not 100%. That's no, he's, clear. He's ambling. Yeah. Percent. They worked on him some more during the break. And he's back out there now. And Bill, the challenge is right in front of them. There's a, a lot of time left here. And Butler's got all of the momentum. The way he was rubbing looked a little higher than the ankle, didn't it? Yeah. Uh, maybe a little bit of a strain or pull. Uh, but he was so important to this team. Get him involved a little bit. And, uh, not a, really just massage it. Trying to get himself ready. Tell you, in the first half, Bill, when all looked lost for Butler, it was this young man right here, Enzi, that carried his team. I mean, he literally had no help. They were down 14 at the break, and it could have been 25 mm -hmm. without him. But now, look, they're only down four with six and change remaining. They need Bolden to contribute a little bit more, though. I think coming down the stretch, if they're going to win. 
Look to see a touch for Freeman on the block while he's in there. Oh, he oh, it is. He was right with him. Not a good one. Jair Bolden comes out of there with it. Look where Enzi drags his guy. A little high load game here. Right in from Golden. Replace. Hydes! He got past Scruggs and got the foul. How about that? Open opportunity is the activity of the bigs. Seizing. Say it so, Bo. <laughs> right in Slithery move around the rim and right here, nice little hesitation to get him on their back. These are two outstanding young coaches, but Travis Steele is the one that's got the pressure. All right, the elephant in the room is what's at stake for Xavier. On the other side, they have struggled all season long with their last unit, and all Butler wants to do is get a win and see tomorrow. Down three now. Scruggs time too. We've got to get him involved a little bit more. He's really not in the attack mode trying to run the site. But again, great defense by Butler. Odom in front of Jair Bowden up against the clock. Fremantle, a must launch. He got it on the front iron, and that was it. Well, you got to get into it quicker, be more definitive. And Butler just grabs a hold of game. Solid. You talk about maximizing the talent you have. That's what Laval George is doing. Uh, rare turnover that time. No, I'm not going to say it was left away by Xavier. I thought Izzy was the last to touch it, but it will stay on this end of the floor with nine to shoot. Now, talking to Laval, of course, and you're never lamenting the fact that a kid was out hurt. Yeah, no. Well, let's let's go. Who, yeah. who wants to play here? And, and every time they, they seem to be gathering momentum to get back, there was a COVID outbreak, and that stopped play. A real freshman play that trip. Once again, Enzi with great defense. Quick double of free now. Over the hook. Stay with it. There you go. Good call, yeah, coach. He is good. I mean, just more opportunities makes the defense think a little bit, react a little bit. He's a Brad Stevens kind of player when you think about yeah. it. Yeah. Well, you know, he can scramble things up if you yeah. want to double him. Yeah. All of a sudden, you got the D in rotation. Think about Coach Stevens now in the NBA with Boston, but he, he took the Butler story to another level. No question about that. Yes, indeed. 54-51. Their rivals, their newbies into the Big East. This kid's not afraid. I'm telling you. This kid is from the Big East in Jersey, and he stretches the lead to six. I should have hurt my ankle when I was playing. Goodness, as he stepped up. Gets the roll. Chucky Harris with the hoop. Chucky had a struggle in the first half. He's really recovered here in the second, hasn't he? Not a good shot. But you need to do too much. He just rode Fremantle twice. This could cut it to two right here. Split. Oh, wow. Well, why did you just put the floater? The freshman delivery hit yeah. down. Yeah. Couple of mistakes. In traffic. Oh, oh, Challenging. Oh, and he makes a mistake. Ooh. Tapped away by Bo Hodges. Three minutes left. A four point lead. It's tightening up. But Bill. In that leg and ankle. Because that kid there, Kobe, they got some players who can make some plays, no question about it. Jones and Scruggs, we've seen during his career, not afraid of taking over down the stretch. Big defensive sequence here for Butler. 
to maintain contact. Jones has been a little timid of late. Not this time. He had with it. Did he ever? Didn't give up on the play. That's why you got to get him in. Yeah, timeout right now. And Xavier, what a big time. It's good to have a big paw. And that may be the paw that refreshes the big fella. In a game that they absolutely have to win. This would be a very bad, I mean, and this is not to speak disparagingly of Butler, but it would be a very bad loss to the selection committee in Indianapolis or Xavier to lose. I like Travis Steele on these timeouts. First time full court pressure, almost got a five second call, then an errant pass. And a very lucky and fortunate. Nine to shoot. In trouble. Finds Golden. Pretty twice. Ben Golden. Hadn't he? Well, every time he touches it, Bill, he's ready to take it up. And they're not designed plays, but any dribble, drive, and dive that is timed perfectly, that's as good as a beautiful pattern. 59 55. Kenzie on the spread. He's got a mismatch. Harris with under 10. Crashing the glass. Making a difference. Boy, they're so sharp at that ring. Your guy leaves and helps. You pay the price. Mm, a lot of options on that dribble drive by Harris. Seven unanswered. To four. And it's a two-point game. Special delivery. Into the game, his brother Grant, an All-Atlantic 10 forward at Richmond. He plays below the rim, Bill, but he's one of those guys, as you mentioned, he, he has position. He's always in position. Knows the game. To make a play. You've been calling for him. Gets it to Kunkel. Carter. He's he's doing a great job defensively, Bill. That sure is. Oh, boy. The free man are trying to get a hand on that little current toss. The offense defense here at Kunkel. Taking a little blow. Hard to beat a team three times. Well, we touched on that earlier. Especially when they're your rival. And you've got so much at stake. Once again, got him at poise on the defensive end of Xavier. Three now with a good show, recover. Same thing here. This opens up the dribble lane, though. Sure does. Harris is fouled by Scruggs. When well, you're not connected, these kids are so savvy at splitting a ball screen. Playing like a seasoned veteran. Just blow by that ball screen. No fear. In the ear. Yeah. Getting banged on that big side. Scruggs believe he, he believes he had all the ball, but he, he got to do it all the arm with the body. Huge free throws here for the freshman, Chuck Harris. 84% on the season at the stretch. Hey, one shot. Who knew, right? <laughs> Absolutely. They haven't been tied since uh, we were in single digits to start this game. In position to try a two for one. I don't think they will. Most college guys don't. Try and get a good one to get the lead. Blow the bubble burst <laughs> on the Musketeers. Got to go through Fremantle, I think. Put them inside a little bit. A 14 point cushion at the break. And we're tied. Pick and pop. He's not a good pass. Oh, go check it. Yeah, go check it. Tony Chiazza was right in front of it, but with the time remaining, they'll always check these. Yeah, two or more. Let's go. 
was a huge call, clearly. Sure, the offensive end. Season, really, the postseason opportunities for Xavier are in the balance right here, right now. And this zone trap, it looks like. They got a timeout. Yeah, they do. They want it. Timeout, we're tied at 59. A little madness in March in the world's most famous arena on FS1. will be his 15th game this year in double digits, including his first career double-double that he had earlier. And uh, a young man that has played out of Winchester, Virginia, St. James School in Maryland. Uh, just a big game. you got to believe, right, Bill, that this this will go down to a last shot. Mm -hmm. Right now, you got Carter taller. Once again, uh, the hands. Now you got to get, you got to find a way to get it in. Yeah. And you've only got one timeout left. They got to have somebody sprint to that half court line at some point. Drag the defense and somebody. There you go. Did they double? They still are. Yeah. Trying to scramble up Harris. He finds Hodges. And he's quickly fouled by Odom. Only the 16 fouls. So one more before they can put them on the line. If they so choose to extend the game that way, I doubt they will. And we're going to go straight up and Chucky Harris. Watch the dribble drive and a rebound. That's the key thing for NZ in the corner. Harris blocked by Adam. He got it back though. Look out. Not no good. And we're going to overtime. Mm. Got stuck with the dribble, number three. Not exactly what they wanted, I'm sure. But how about Laval Jordan getting his team? And the other Xavier. Got to think a little bit of what they want to run, how they want to run it. And I do think Free Mantle has to be a focal point. Well, Butler, five games under 500, and yet have won two overtime games this year. So they got to feel pretty confident about their plight. You know, that, those last few moments, Bill, after Fremantle made that big steal and bucket and got him back up by six, he didn't touch the ball. It's amazing. Well, they got talent, guys willing to make plays, but boy, look at your bread and butter. Once again, he shows. They dig into that clock with every possession. They sure do. Punish you. Remain deliberate. Tough Giant guy. Biden. Can't get it to go. Put a tip out. I just... Harris for three. That freshman. What a cross-court look. Just successful. Boom. With that delivery. Hodges to Harris. It's now a 9 nothing run. And the Butler back up. First lead since it was 9-7. to seven. Boy, look at them sloughing off in the lane. They're giving you anything you want out there. Talk about adding pressure to Xavier. Falling down early. There's Scruggs. That's the guy who's got to take over, too. He loves these situations. Have been very quiet. Yeah, if you're thinking about who can make big shots late, there are plenty of them. Colby Jones is one. Scruggs is another. Not to mention Fremantle. Nice slip to the goal. Harris wanted some room. Had to give it up. Hold him solid. Hodges up against the clock. Has to let it go. rebound for Jones. Carter! And Jones with the delivery, too. Uh, second chance opportunities. A big time. Oh. 
Well, this freshman is growing up tonight, isn't he? Up to the gun. That's a little hook in there, too. Oh, yeah. There you go. Halfway down. Pulled out of there by Colby Jones. I'll save you with a chance to regather the lead. Run your action. There you go. Look at the lift. When you move for Carter to run, you help you find somebody. Or finish him. Would have counted had it gone. He will get to the line for two. The deployment's so important all game long, particularly coming down the stretch here. Like what they did to Fremantle with the lift. He's Carter. Plenty of room to run. Well, you know Carter wanted that bucket to go. He's a 55% free throw shooter. So he'll have to earn it at the line. That easily could have gone down for an and one opportunity. Oh, those missed free throws. Mm, kill you. Rattled that one home to tie it at 65. How good is this, huh? That's been fun. Night one of the Big East tournament. He surprised him. Golden was there for it. Out of bounds, last touch by Xavier. I think Freeman got a piece of it. You're right. Come out. Come out. Well, Al Jordan wants to talk about it with 147 left. Coming down to cases, Bill. I found it to be pretty good. <laughs> New York. Big East. Oh. 20 on the shot clock, so Butler, who's um, prone to dig into that clock as best they possibly can, may use a lot of it here. Never in a hurry unless you make a mistake. Boy, Jones on the closeout. That's where you want it. Well, it's going to be a player to play back. How about the run of Carter lately? Yeah. How about the way he has played? Yeah, he stepped up. up as yeah, he sure has. Nothing like experience. Ohio use contribution to the Xavier program, huh? Big time. Going to the transfer portal. Getting some help. He's stunning them at Ohio U. And he's paid some dividends since coming to Xavier. And again, you're getting away from running your stuff. Look at that. A near steal. Hodges up against the clock now. Inside 10. Oh, power. Boy, is he a confident offensive player. 67 to 65. Musketeers trying to stave off Butler and beat them a third time for the most important opportunity to advance and keep their hopes alive for a Sunday bid for the NCAAs. Hodges in traffic. Look at the defense. Oh, the really is quick and strong. Harris. And a little guy. A triple order, if you like to say. Wow. 68-67. Timeout, Xavier. This young man being asked to do so much by his coach. And he has answered the bell, Bill, every time. Four turnovers, yes. But every big shot, Chuck Harris has said, I'm ready to go. Give me the ball. Uh, he has responded beautifully. But this kid defensively has been solid. Look at that pull-up. Strength, power exhibited in that three second lane, and why not? Travis's guys, you guys have a lot of confidence. Now they're going to do it on the defensive end. Let's see if they run their sets now. Once in a while, they're getting stuck late with the dribble. Again, you got Fremantle in there. He lifts the screen and gets to the box. He hasn't had a touch in a while. There's the pick and pop. Turned down the three. Hold up a straight line drive. In traffic now. Remember, it's Xavier that has the tie ball. We mentioned that a moment ago, so they'll keep it with 12 on the shot clock. And a really good defensive job. There. Everybody stayed at home on that dribble drive. So you want to be a coach, huh? Oh, my goodness. These are the moments. 
Gotta get your guys to think, respond to you as we take a look at the bracket tonight. A reminder, tomorrow, great. Well, how's your inbounds uh, scouting report? Well, uh -huh. <laughs> Let's see if they screen across. They need to run some nice stuff and then a rescreen. There's a double. Scrubs. In traffic. He's fouled. Put the pressure on the defense. They got Enzi with it. Butler, a couple of fouls to give. And that is number five. That's a big one to, to lose. He played so hard, so well, and of course, Laval could not take him out of the game at any point. He needed him on the floor. This kid is a very good basketball player. He really understands the game plan, what they want to run. They can go through him on the box. Yeah. The unfortunate part of that foul was he, he had a couple to give. Instead, he, he fouled him in the act of shooting. So, two seven. For strikes. 83% shooter. Yep. Prolific prep from California. On his way into Indianapolis, and of course that's his home. Went out there to play at the high school level late. That's a one-point lead. I would deny Harris the ball. As long as I could. Don't let the little guy dominate. If he gives it up, ice him some. When you're in trouble, you know, that kind of thing. He's just a confident kid. He knows the game. Remember full court pressure? Xavier absolutely must win if they want to see the odds of March. They need to stop here. Jair Bowman bringing it up. Got to go to the rim. You got to think offensive rebound if you're Butler. And conversely, check your guy out. Hold him all over him. And he gets a bump. Mm. So here we go to the free throw line on the seventh team foul. His quickness alone, Bill. There's pressure on him. Yeah, absolutely forced the officials to make the call. Reach the hands in there. Thank God. Is that ice? Yeah. Remember, they're still going to have to play D for 3.7 yeah. seconds. Hunkel is going to get into the game. Travis Steele's already gone to him. Yeah, we've seen his magic, too, in winning games early in the year. Now, here's the situation. If I'm reading this right, I mean, they got a foul to give, right? Yeah, they do. Yeah. They actually got two to give. Yeah. I beg your pardon, just one. Just one, just yeah. one, yeah. Because the Enzi foul was the 15th foul. The yeah, speed dribble, see if they get it. Yeah. They do. So you got point nine, you got time to catch and shoot. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh, he's going to ask for them to look at it and see if there's more time. Hey, come here, come here. Like to give your, your like to give your, your players right a chance to maybe have one dribble. Oh, absolutely, yeah. if he can. That's okay. Well, this is one of those back screen lob situations, too. You see on the time. There's the foul there. Yeah, he's right. Given at 1.4. Yeah. Maybe even a little more. Yeah, maybe 1.5 or 1.6. Yeah, yeah. Which is huge. They think you want to get the ball turning the corner in speed. Shooter as well as one game's at the buzzer, but he's inbounding the ball. Well, they have worked on this. I'm sure he can throw a baseball pass if he has to. Scrubs. Goodness.